I'm going to very quickly go through all 15 of the 2024-2025 Missouri Gateway Readers Award nominees, giving each book five or six seconds or less. If you want to see more about any of these books, there are longer 60-ish second book talks here on our YouTube channel as well. Since I'm not a high school student, I don't get to vote for the winner, but I will be doing these 15 books in reverse order from my personal least to most favorite titles. Obviously, we might have different favorites. Starting with number 15, Hotel Magnifique, fantasy novel about a magical hotel that appears in a new city every day. The Q, a kidnapped presidential candidate's 19-year-old son has to escape a deadly quarantine zone within 72 hours or stay forever. Those summer nights, an elite soccer player's injury ends her playing career and she has to face the consequences of poor choices. Nothing more to tell. A high school senior helps with a true crime broadcast about a cold case of her murdered middle school English teacher. The words we keep, a high school girl battles her own mental health after she finds her sister has self-harmed herself. My top 10, a year to the day, told in reverse chronological order, a mother, sister, and boyfriend deal with waves of grief after the death of a high school senior. All My Rage, two Pakistani-American teens deal with personal tragedies and trust issues while trying to reconnect as friends. The Getaway, theme park workers and their families try to survive the start of the end of the world while working for evil billionaires. The Sunbearer Trials, a trans teen son of a demi-dios, tries to survive challenges during a life-or-death ritual competition held once a decade. The Do-Over, a delightful romantic comedy about a teen girl forced to repeat a Valentine's Day gone wrong over and over. My top five, After Dark with Roxy Clark, a creepy murder mystery featuring a teen girl giving ghost tours about her dead relatives. My Mechanical Romance, a young woman joins a prestigious high school robotics squad and faces systemic misogyny. Sounds heavy, but it's a delightful rom-com. Top three, The Weight of Blood, a modern spin on Stephen King's carry with small-town racism as the spark. It is the best YA horror book I have read. I Must Betray You perfectly captures the paranoia and dire circumstances of Romanians as the Soviet Empire was collapsing. And my number one for 2024-2025, All That's Left in the World, a post-apocalyptic book about survival against the odds and finding hope when all seems lost. I hope you can read as many of these fantastic books as possible. Check out our YouTube channel for longer videos on each of these gateway books. Happy reading!